So I was going through some of the stuff I've done. Um, I'm gonna point out what I like about each one. This one I just made with a maple leaf and it's amazing the details that we can print and um, with the maple leaf. And uh, here's, here's another example. So yeah, I'll be making a lot of these with different uh, leaves and plants. I will also try some image transfer. This one was quite the success. I'm quite impressed about it because um, image transfer is always so diff difficult and it's a, you know, you may get it or you may not. Here, here's another one on some music sheet and I actually find it uh, quite interesting how, you know, I put in some texture here and the face is um, half of it and some music it comes through as well. So that's kind of neat. Um, I think I have another another try here. Uh, let's see. It was this one. It was this one. See, it wasn't as successful, but still, um, there's a few faces here, and there's so potential, so much potential of what you can do. Here's another another image transfer with a watch and some uh, some lettering. My friend, <laughs> Julia, who was here visiting, she found this, it's a very common thing. It grows in trees in the forests and then we, um, we hot pressed it uh, in the microwave and then we had this beautiful um, botanical that makes these gorgeous, gorgeous prints. And with the same, using the same one, this is, this is another, another one that I did with different colors and so is this one. So there's lots of texture just with that little, little thing. Um, <laughs> I've used it so many times now that it's got all, all sorts of colors, but if you look at it, um, that's what it looks like. It's kind of a very pale green, but now it's it's been colored often enough. <laughs> I also uh, make uh, marks with this. She also found this one. Um, I have yet to go out and do some treasure hunting myself. Here's another one of those. This one's done on deli paper. Look! Look how amazing. Uh, it looks like it's even in the water <laughs> because of the colors I've used. And then there's all these other ones that I made with strings and, uh, you know, almost, um, I don't know, monochromatic. This one is the same idea. I like, I like that it, it's in circles only. I love that. So this is something else that can be done with strings. Following into the strings situation. <laughs> this is something else. It looks like uh, grass or, you know, or something like that. This is, this is another one. It's great for uh, using uh, as part of a collage or maybe to draw something on top of it. It's just, Fantastic, I think. Then I'm into the circles. <laughs> you know, Picasso was into the blue uh, period. I'm into the circles <laughs> period. So I've done all these many different types of prints using my own stencils that I've done and different color combinations. And yeah, circles, as you can see, fascinate me. The same way that squares fascinate me, for um, when I paint, uh, I like to paint on squares, um, on square canvases and square um, wooden blocks. But then I'm also fascinated by circles. The little circles that look like bubbles, the big circles. Um, and this, this one, another variation. I love the combination of colors in this one. Um, that ochre 
that you know green and pink make a really really nice texture really nice um, combination here's another one very simple more more circle patterns uh, and ideas I love how there's an element of like straight lines, you know, straight um, angle, 90 degree angle in opposition to the circles. And then all of those are very geometrical, yet these guys are all very um, organic. So lots of depth there. Same idea, different colors. For that one <laughs> and this one as well it just keeps me looking at it all the time also yeah some hints of circles and then I transitioned slowly from the circles to now crumbling paper crumbled paper so it's, it's like a little transition between one and the other. Then I went, uh, carried on with the circles, but added some different textures. I love those textures, so rich, um, so rich. And then from there, I went on <laughs> and I did with the netting. I love this netting. <laughs> This and this is from vegetables and fruits, right? And then, of course, the circles. Isn't that super cool? And then my circles. These ones are one of my favorite ones. I wish I had a larger stencil um, to, to use because that particular stencil is one of my favorites and it's been places it's like loaded with paint because I never wash it so it's this one and it's too small I need I need a larger one because I'm never gonna be able to reproduce that <laughs> but I love the effect <laughs> uh, okay yeah That's the other way around then uh, same idea with other types of stencils and um, and then this one here is using those same stencils, some circles of transparencies. There's not a lot of fun. The contracts of color. This one, uh, it's actually stamping these guys. <laughs> Love the combination. Mm, and then I went into irregular shapes or wavy shapes these ones i've done a couple of months ago but i really love how playful they are same idea using the same stencils just different combinations so much you can do so much you can do